All right, here we are. Have you ever wondered what uh, golf bros do when it's raining outside? Well, here we are. We're up at the bar. Yep. Um, how are you, John? Godfather? I'm Jason. This is Godfather. Let's just get this up on. This is We're here with the call. sweet spot. I'm not telling you what this is. Um, <laughs> we'll leave that a mystery. So um, we are here live. Just a, a couple of quick things here. First of all, make sure you uh, make sure you share the video. Today we are raffling off something a little different. We've got the Chrome Soft here, golf ball, Callaway Chrome Soft, mm -hmm. um, and we've got each one of the sleeves in here. Uh, we got your diamonds, we got your spades, we got your hearts, we got your clubs, uh, deck of cards. So make sure you uh, enter in to win that. It's kind of fun. What a great idea! And then neat. They got the shamrocks out, you know, so you can do the shamrocks sometimes. Um, just a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So that's our uh, that's our post for today. Or that's our share for today. Congratulations to Sharon. Sharon, I hope I get your last name right. Marette. Uh, winner of last week's share uh, for the two-round bundle pack. So she gets a round on Jones, round on player. Uh, any day, weekend, weekday, whatever she wants, come on out. So congratulations, Sharon. Um, man, I think that's all the housekeeping we got. That's How was your week? Week is starting out uh, really pretty good. A little day. activity today, huh? Uh, not not so much doing? here. Today we went to the Travelers with PGA Family Junior Day. And uh, my team, we weren't sure if it was going to be a go or not, but we ended up going. And it rained during uh, for the 30 minutes before we got there while the kids were warming up. At 10 o'clock, when it was their turn to tee off, it stopped raining. We walked the course. We played our little four-hole loop. And then oh, we took our little team picture. And then after, literally when the kids walked off the last screen, the skies opened up and started raining hard again. But... Uh, we had a great time. I brought my little boy with me. I brought Nicholas to the uh, to the event today, and it was uh, he was the star of the show. He was dip. putting on a little show for yeah. everybody. He had a great dip. time. There you go. That's good. I like it. We got him some ice cream. What's better than that? Yeah, and I brought some of the members of my staff. Uh, we had like a little. They called it a field day. They compared it to like when we were in high school. They called it a field day and they had a good time and they helped me watch my own boy that was <laughs> that was very key at times because he had a lot of energy and uh it was awesome we had a great time i put some pictures up on instagram to share with everybody it was fun it was a good time awesome well uh, yeah go check that out on the instagram did they get to see any of the pros what's uh actually is anybody kicking around or is it too crummy out? i know I, we've spoken about this pro a couple times now chris tallman Ah, there you go. He, I actually ran into him right off the first, right off the first tee box. Is. He, wait, I saw him, and I was with Nicholas, uh, Cassidy, and Alyssa at the time. And uh, he must think that Nicholas has two moms or something yeah. because they're very young. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, he came up to us. He's like, "Oh, who are you guys?" And I'm like, "Oh, this is my son, Nicholas." So I go, "Nicholas, this is a PGA Tour player." And Nick was like, "Wow!" Spilling his ice cream all over himself. <laughs> that part wasn't important, but. Uh, it was fun, and the girls yeah. got to meet Chris, and uh, I wish that the rest of the staff didn't run up ahead because uh, I'm sure that they would have enjoyed to follow Chris uh, all week and used to shake his hand, and obviously wish him great, yeah, great luck on Chris. Thursday. Yeah. Be fun make the watch. section proud, make the cut for the first time for a PGA go. section for a long time. There you go. I can't, fun. I'm still overwhelmed by this field. I mean, it's an amazing field. Great field. Great it's going to be exciting. Mm -hmm. I can remember when I first started here, going back 10, 11 years ago, Every year at about, you know, the early June, you would get this packet in the mail from the section with 50 tickets in it to the travelers. And they were just yes. begging people to go. And every, you know, every, I have my use, my regulars who would always ask for tickets. And, mm -hmm. you know, you give them out, no problem. And then over the course of the last three or four years, I mean, that just dried up. Nobody's well, people are still asking. You can get them. Get them. Um, but uh, there's so many big names there. Why would they give anything away? You don't need to. I've had multiple people come up to me and ask me, yeah. Bro, do you have any tickets? Do you have any tickets? And I, I haven't even got a sniff of the tickets. Today we got our juniors in for free, obviously, because the junior event. But, I, I mean, outside of being a PGA member or bringing your immediate family, I, I haven't been able to sniff any of the tickets. Yet. And the tents are getting really good. Yeah. They're really good. <laughs> really big. Yeah. Really lavish. Yeah. I mean, even the porta potties were tremendous today. There you go. I mean, I'm <laughs> I mean, it's the little things. A couple okay. of the members of our team, I'll, I won't name them, were like, I had to bring Nick, Matt Nicholas had to go to the porta potty. And uh, I brought him in there, and they were saying, Is it a nice porta potty? I'm like, Yeah, she's very nice. <laughs> they do a good job over there. 
of travelers. So, yeah, it, it is, uh, they've stepped it up a notch. And then this year, have you seen the clubhouse yet? No. It's ridiculous. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's awesome. It's, it's huge. I'm sure the players are ranting and raving about it, uh, but it's really, that was the, they just that was the last it. thing they needed to do. Yeah. They just finished it. Though. Yeah, like, well, I'd say end of May, early June, they just finished it. But they're putting up extra stands this year. Uh, there was a new merchandise, I guess you can call it a tent, yeah. new merchandise tent right next to the range. So they took a book, uh, they took a page right out of the PGA Championships book. First thing you see when you come in through the gold lot is that tent. And we spent some money in there today. And uh, okay. there you go. yeah, support support our fellow uh, PGA right. professionals at uh, TV right. Super Hot. Um, are you going up? Uh, 50 50 about Friday. Maybe Friday I'll go for a cup of coffee. Maybe not. It all depends on uh, what shakes out yeah. the schedule. Yeah. But I, I do want to go back and I'd like to go follow Chris. Uh, It'd be fun. So, yeah. But I mean, I know everyone's going to want to follow Phil. I'm sure he's going to have a huge gallery. Mickelson will be there. Kepka's here. Speed is here. Justin Thomas is here. There are some serious. I'm sure Jason Day is here. <laughs> there are big it's time, crazy. big time names here. It's awesome. It didn't used to be like no. that. No. I saw one player. His name is, uh, I think it's Cameron Smith. Cameron yeah. Smith. This kid's a baby. Yeah. I mean, he looked like he should be in diapers. I mean, these kids are so young on the tour now, too. It's amazing. Yeah. Victor Holman. I believe yeah, yeah, he's, he's playing. A, yeah. This is his first professional just turned, tournament. Uh, just turned pro. Yes, one of our my staff members got their uh, water bottle signed by him today. Yeah. So he did, that was he had an okay neat. college career. He did he okay. At U.S. Okay. Amateur. Yeah. He was okay. the U.S. Yeah. Amateur Pebble Beach, and <laughs> then it was the silver silver medalist. That's the. So I always kind of liked it here at Pebble Beach. Yeah, yeah. but you did. How yeah. about the U.S. Open this weekend? How awesome was that? I go on. I, I want you to say something before I go. Off on a tangent. I know. So, <laughs> I, the U.S. Open, I, so the, everybody said that the course was set up perfectly. Everybody said the USG did a perfect job. None of the players complained. All the analysts were saying how awesome it was. This is what we want to see. We want to see good golf. And I know Pebble's not the longest course these guys play, so I know it's kind of hard to get it harder or tough or whatever. But, man, I'd like to see some train wrecks. There were no, there were no, the cut was plus two. Yeah, I mean, but the wind I just never wanted blew. to see. The wind never you blew. can't, you know, you can't, but you can't, you know, whatever. But so I was a little bummed out that we didn't see a little more carnage out there. But mm. you know, I thought it was good. I, you know, I was pulling for Brooks. He sent it on the show yeah, last I week. Know. I wanted him to win. I thought three in a row would be something for the sport. Um, I think that one of the tweets I saw afterwards, the craziest thing about this is he got another opportunity for a three putt next year, three peat to PGA next year. So he's going to have another opportunity to win three in a row. Majors. Did I say that I thought Woods or Woodland would win? Uh, I believe it was Woods. Woodland? Yes. Woods. With Gary Woodland. Woods. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you had Gary. Yeah, it, I mean, yeah, I, I think if I think it was a 13 under result, you know, it's a low score, obviously, yes. but if it was blowing even one or two of the days to win, that would have got 13. No shot. It would have been like seven or eight, and then if it blew all four days, you'd have your even par. Yeah. Carnage round where guys can't get home on number eight and two because it's four or five hundred yards and things of that nature. But my my last memory of the tournament was watching the tournament. Brooks is on eighteen and Woodland's on seventeen, and you oh, know that in that hour on that hourglass green he's got to hit a pitch shot from off the green. Every from super on the green. In, from on the green, excuse me. Every superintendent in America was cringing where that ball landed. <laughs> you know that Darren was ready. He was having a meltdown. <laughs> My buddy Tom over at Boston Reels, I'm sure he's like, no, no, you have to put that. People are going to start chipping for my greens. And then he hits the shot. He hits it perfect. And who was it? Uh, was it Azinger? Who was it? Was it Azinger? Uh, yeah. He's the one describing it. Yes. You don't want to take a divot here. Yes. You just want to graze the grass. Guy does it now. Because we know all our, all our amateurs are that skilled to be yeah. able to uh, just graze the grass, not take a divot on the Yeah. Side. But then, really then the ball checks up like that and stops at two feet. Think about the, the pressure. You know, that, if I'm not mistaken, if he skulls that, it's basically in the ocean. Yes. I mean, that is so nerve-wracking. And he just pulled it off, not a care in the world. Hit, 
he had some tremendous on Saturday and some the best par saves you've ever seen. I'm lucky. I mean, he's not going to make those every time, but I mean, just some tremendous par saves. And then Kepka did not go away. He kept playing. He kept. He stayed right on his heels the whole time. And I, I just, you know, Kepka missed the putt. I can't remember for 16 or 17. He missed a short one, and then he missed the putt on the birdie on 18, yeah. obviously. So. Those two putts go, you know, it's a totally different ballgame. If he makes, if, he, if they're all square, he, I don't think Gary Hoover makes that birdie putt. And he, that thing was racing. You know, well, that yeah, there's, he knew he it was fine. He, he could have so three putted, I think, and still won. But holy, I mean, it's, it was, it was incredible. No, you're right. That chip, the chip from the green, yeah, was, was something that everybody cringes. Because Cause we all know one of the biggest problems with our sport is that everybody sits at home, watches on TV and thinks this is how it should be. Right. Well, that's not how it should be. No. So, you know, uh, you know, anybody good. Luckily we don't have a lot of those contour greens on our, our no, golf luckily we're there, there and we don't, we don't have that many opportunities. What a shot though. We, uh, Hey, my mother loves watching. Woo. Hey Babs. So, uh, we got, uh, Alan Martin tuned in. He was there. Our, our assistant superintendent, Alan, um, uh, Looks they really went right. out, um, and Thursday night he's sending me pictures from the beach looking up, uh, you know, up to like 8 and 7 and 6 and all that. Just spectacular. I'm jealous. And then Friday he was there. He was inside. You know, mm-hmm. he's, he's at the event, getting pictures of everybody, watching everybody. I think you followed uh, Eric Dietrich for a couple of uh, couple well, then, of holes. Yeah. Eric, local qualifier from here. I don't oh, know if you guys saw this. Make, yeah. I don't know if you guys saw this. So we had the U.S. Open local qualifier here back in May. Yes. We had two two players advance, uh, or, or four players were moving up. Two players got in, then there were four players tied for one spot, or for going for two spots. So we went all four players over here to uh, to ten, uh, just right behind us over here. And Eric hits his ball dead left um, on the. You can go back and watch the Facebook live. I'm telling everybody it's dead. It's in the water. Forget about it. Um, and this kid's out there on 18 going, I know I hit it this far. I know it's right by this tree. I think it's going to be right here. He found his golf ball. So he played from 18, hit it to about five feet, drained the birdie putt. And then he was the medalist at the sectional qualifier at Washington State uh, in June. And then qualified and got to play two rounds of pebble. He went to Washington State? Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. I didn't know. I didn't even know we had a local qualifier make it all the way. We did. So. Eric Dietrich, local kid from Cheshire. Yeah, he's a youth on a lot. Nice kid. Very good player. That's awesome. Obviously, very good player. Good uh, story. So I thought that was really fun. It was fun to watch and, and see him. And uh, hopefully that's, you know, the start of something pretty special and kind of fun for him. Uh, but I know. I mean, it was incredible open. I thought everything, uh, it was fun to watch. I loved watching it at prime time, 8, 9 o'clock. I loved it. Mm-hmm. You, oh, that's you hang out all day, and then uh, you're watching golf all night. It was awesome. Well, someone asked me, I'm not going to name it, this person's name either, why is uh, why don't they have golf on at night? I go, well, it gets dark. <laughs> you're playing in the dark. Uh, yeah. But if they have it on the West Coast, and a lot of tournaments are not on the West Coast uh, right. late in the year, right. then you can do this, play this game, because it gets dark at 8.45, 9 o'clock. That means you can buy an extra three. I mean, they could have essentially played till midnight if they wanted to. Because like, because even time, in, time. because yeah. even in uh, when they do like the AT and T the pro am, uh, you know that's still over by seven seven thirty. Mm-hmm. So you know because it's earlier in the season. So uh, no, that's good. That was awesome. That's good. Yeah, I wish they do. Well, next year it's here at Wingfoot. Yeah, it's here in, uh, on the East Coast. Yeah. We'll have to go to that one. Wingfoot's gonna be pretty special. Yeah, pretty neat club. Oh, awesome! You got a lot of oh yeah, a lot of local, a lot of local yeah. uh, events next year. We have travelers, obviously, Wingfoot, and then the U.S. Senior is at Newport. Oh yeah. So there's some pretty good some opportunities good to watch the biggest players in the world play golf. So we're here at the bar, Lyman yeah. Orchard's Grill Room. We got the Bill Jr. Bloody Mary station behind us. They got the infused vodkas here. Um, so, in case you were wondering what golf pros do when it's raining outside, this is one of the this is one of the spots we like to go. I like this one on the right. That's got to be the That's juice the peppers and the bloody mary, peppers yeah. and lemons. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Too bad I work every weekend. <laughs> you come out here and have bloody a mary with the, with the, with Ashley. Oh, no, no, <laughs> that's good. So um, we're checking in here from the sweet spot. Um, Make sure you share the video. We got the, the Chrome Soft Golf Balls for the giveaway today. We got the, the, the suit, uh, the hearts, the 
diamonds, clubs, spades. Um, so make sure you check that out. Yeah, Derek Travers is watching from Callaway. Thank you Good. for uh, thanks, Derek. Watching and uh, here we go. Yeah, here's golf balls for you. Yes. Um, we had one of the busiest weekends we've had in a long time, and this is a subject I'm pretty passionate about because um, I I listen to a lot of sports talk radio, and it seems like anytime they're talking about golf or baseball for that matter, they're talking about how the sport's dying. Uh, nobody right. wants to play it anymore. All this kind of stuff. We did over a thousand rounds, of, or sorry, excuse me, we did over twelve hundred rounds of golf um, over the weekend, Father's Day. Twelve hundred rounds of golf over our three golf over our three golf courses this weekend. Yeah, and people are saying golf's in trouble. Negative, you could get a spot. Negativity people are dying sounds, to play. This negativity is on the news. It is. It is amazing. So I just, uh, you know, I just want to. I, I always I like to get that in when I can because yeah. I mean, this place was jumping. People were excited. The golf courses were in great shape. Um, you know, this rain that we're getting today, although it's a bummer, it's probably helping a little bit. It's starting to dry out a little bit. Uh, of course, it's playing fast. It was great. Um, so, you know, we just had uh, we had a great weekend. I think that's important. The other thing I want to talk about is um, I'd like to talk about our golf course superintendent for a few minutes. Uh, yes. So uh, our superintendent just walked in as yes. we're singing his praises. What do you about think about that weekend? guy chipping up the green on 17? Yeah, did you like that? That was nice. <laughs> Because we're gonna have a little competition. Amongst we're gonna have. Them. A, I'm yeah. just glad Tiger lost. No. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Holy smokes! Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Holy smokes! The last time he's on our show, we were hours. just joking about the whole chipping on the green thing, but now we're gonna make it. <laughs> um, so we had a great weekend. So also, I talk about some of the stuff that's going on at the golf center. We've been talking about this stuff all season, but um, golf. If you want to learn to play the game, if you want to learn golf, if you want to get started if you know somebody who wants to get started in the game get them over here get them to Lyman Orchards we um, the the growth in our instructional programs is amazing and the reason it's amazing is because we're having fun doing it um, we have some of the best instructors in the game here um, they will introduce your son or daughter they will introduce your wife your husband um, to the game and they'll do it in a fun way and it's growing it's working. We already have more kids in junior camp this year than we had all of last season So you got to get here. You got to get out. You got to come try it um, A couple of things that I think are important about our junior camp They get out on the golf course what, three days a week three three, three, of three of the days. five days in camp they're actually playing golf um, Which is so unique um, we, everybody's getting a pair of Nike shoes this year. Every Nike full, golf shoes. Full day. Full, full day. day campers getting Nike golf shoes. The half day campers are getting a shirt. Polo. Yep, nice Nike polo shirt. Oh, great gifts. Uh, full, we feed the full day campers. Um, we, it's safe. It's fun. Uh, we just have a really good time doing it. So um, check out our junior camp. The spots are actually, I mean, the first week sold out. Sold except day. for the afternoon. We got a couple spots for afternoon, afternoon session. session. Half day. Um, and then we take a week off, and then we hit it hard back in July again. So uh, make sure you uh, make sure you get uh, signed up for that. The only thing that blows my mind is this little Acers program. We've got this little Acers program, ages four to seven. It's you know it's kind of fun for me because my daughter's actually in it. Um, she's participating and having an absolute blast. Um, it, it, every time we open up a class, it sells out. Um, she was exhausted after the last class. <laughs> Greg oh, worked her hard. He did work her hard. It was you know Coach Meg and Coach Greg both, and she got done. Uh, she got done uh, with her golf lesson. She had her ice cream because you always get your ice cream. Oh yeah. Most important part of the lesson. First of all, she gets to ride in a golf cart over there. That's yeah, favorite spot true. number two. You know, favorite Perks. spot number three is the is the uh, is the ice cream. But then uh, we came back, and I had her help help me pick the range a little bit. And uh, who would have who would have thought? Put her right to sleep, right in my lap, she right when we were picking the range. She was out. She fell asleep in the range. Picker. In the range. Picker. Like I can say, I fall asleep a lot of places, never in a range. In picker. the range, and you know how loud that is. You know how bumpy it is down there. I mean, just boom, 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 boom. Yeah. and she was passed out. <laughs> made for a good. Thing. It made for some good photos, though. What can I say? Oh my god! I got That's a new a profile photo. pic from my uh, Facebook page there. That was but, that priceless picture. Yeah, You'll yeah. never forget that one. No, no. She likes. She loves coming and hanging around. Golf course, is a fun place to be. Yeah. she loves it. She yeah. loves it. Make sure. Don't forget. Share the video. You'll be entered to win this. Mm -hmm. What else do we have coming up? Coming up. 
camp, obviously, we talked yeah. about that. We we have night golf starting to fill up about quarter July six tracks. Still got time. Yeah, July, July 6th, 6th, Saturday, July 6th. It'll be a barbecue event. We'll have hamburgers and hot dogs and all the all the fixings out there prior to going out to play golf. And then you'll play golf and you're five soon. And it'll fill up. I know that everyone is just kind of waiting till the day gets closer, but it's right around the corner now. Got about three weeks, two two weeks, two and a half weeks till yeah. it starts. Yeah. So um, that's not too far away. That's a big event. Uh, we're hosting the U.S. Kids uh, Parent Child, Child on yep. June 30th, which will be fun. Yeah, yeah. Bob Sparks from Fairview Farms is the head of U.S. Kids, and in Connecticut, and he is uh, he's excited to come back here for a second year. Yep. Drive, chip, and putt is uh, I think July third. I want to say the day before the fourth. Uh, yeah, July third. Okay. Drive oh, yeah, chip, drive putt. Fine. Yeah. Still, you can sign up for that on, at drive is chip, it putt dot com. Uh, not yet. Okay. We last year uh, we came very close. But uh, just talks with the Connecticut section, and there is some there are some spots available. So uh, there's that going on, and that's going on the next couple of weeks, you know. And then obviously we just keep rocking and rolling with the ladies programming that just started up for spring session number one down there. Um, fully subscribed again. We're gonna say on their team, we're on fire, crazy. completely on fire, just going crazy. Yep, going crazy. Um, did you see, uh, that's enough golf time. Mm. I'm done with the golf time. Yeah. Oh, I started watching a new show last night. Oh, gosh. What a new show? Chernobyl. Oh, I heard that's good. No, it is good. Oh. I was always, I was always uh, very interested in the meltdown yeah. there and how it, could, how it could happen. And we're, I'm only two episodes in, but boy, is that a good show. I heard it's intense. It is. It's, yeah. I mean, you're talking about people's faces yeah. melting off. I mean. People are cooking from the inside out. It's pretty amazing. It's an amazing show, and the actors are doing do, are awesome. And then we're watching another show too. I I think it's a couple Pretty Little Liars or something. My wife wants oh, to watch some show. It's got Reese Witherspoon in it. Nicole oh, yeah. Kidman, I think, is in it. So it's one of these shows that you know. That's how they get you. Well, your wife asks you to do some yeah. stuff, and you say sure. So I she asked me to watch a show. And she fell asleep during it, and I kept watching both episodes. It's a pretty good show. I think it's a two. Both those are HBO. Yeah. This show is just officially sponsored. This show is sponsored by HBO this week, clearly. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Ours as well. I mean, we're starting to get pretty big time here. Those are good shows. Chernobyl, really good. Really good. Just a couple of shout outs. Caitlin, thanks. I know John does a great job. Awesome. We got Meredith watching. Uh, Dan Gaucher's wife. So, oh, yeah. Saratoga uh, National. Yeah. Dan. Is running. Uh, he's running the instructor program for Saratoga National now. Mm -hmm. He's kind of built, you know, his ladies program. And he's awesome with the kids and with everyone. But he's kind of built his ladies program kind of in the same mold that we're doing here. And he had over 140 ladies sign up for Women's Golf Day. He actually had more golfers than we did for his Women's Golf Day. So no kidding. We, for we should have copyright. We should have uh, got some trademark on this program here know, yeah. before Dan left us. So thanks for watching, Meredith. Big Little Lies, she says. Big, Big Little Lies, lies. yes. Okay. Big Little Lies, not yes. Little Liars. Caitlin, Caitlin likes that one. I like that. I like that. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to have to check that out. HBO? HBO. Right. Chernobyl, HBO. We're going through a dry spell. We're not watching anything at home right now. We have What's, no your, shows. We why just canceled. You're practicing so much? We just canceled. No, nah, wow. Well, you know. You, I, got a, I got two invitations to play golf. Yeah. I was one of them. Well, I still don't know if I'm going to go. Oh, John said he can help me out that day. So yeah, we'll go, we'll go play that day. It's always fun to have your first round of golf be with your boss. You you know, that's always a great thing this, to do. Take your irons and go. Yeah. <laughs> pull the dust right off. Oh, boy. Show me the for golf. Well, I'll, take two I'll, hit a couple of, I'll hit a couple of balls that week. Yeah, that'll Sean be great. Go, primed up. If I hit too many, it's just get in my head. You know, I'll just start you working on the swing. I don't do that. <laughs> Oh, no, that'll be fun. That'll so, be a good time. No, that'll be good. To that. That'll be fun. I'm trying to get down to. There's a next week that's coming up. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this or not. There's a one of the GMs within our company, Billy Castro Golf, put a little golf day together down at Bracebrook in New Jersey. So I'd like to get down there and play that as well. So sure, uh, it's a good idea. Hey, Chris Gibbs. Chris Gibbs is watching. Hope everything's going well in Virginia, buddy. We miss you up here. Um, 
But yeah, no, we got uh, we got a lot of fun stuff coming up. Did you yeah. see? Uh, did you see the final? The, the Toronto. I we the know. North. Why well, well, predict? What did I predict? Golden State in four. Yeah, I think that's basically. The, if you bet against me, you made a lot of money. Every, every step of the that? way, if you bet against the Godfather, he talks a good game. But this is what we're finding out. So far, I've been as ice cold as you could be. That's why <laughs> you should actually. How are doing the Yankees the doing? Though? They're going to cover their bet right now. <laughs> the Colorado won't cover it. Oh, we're doing terrible. Colorado just needs to play the Cubs a little bit more, and then uh, they'll probably be just fine. Yeah, Cubs are struggling right now. But uh, no, what did you think? It, it, so every now, LA, the the Lakers are now the odds-on favorite yeah. by everywhere yeah. because now they got Antonio Davis. What do you think? They're much better, but odds-on favorite. They're not going to have any money left to pay anyone else. I, 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 Kyle Kuzma's pretty good, but I mean, you need still need more than three players. It, the NBA is a weird game. And very weird. I, mean, I think next year is anybody's year to win because Golden State has these two massive injuries. I mean, even if the guy were to come back from resign and then come back from the torn Achilles, and then yeah, but he's ACL back the finals if he does that. I mean, these guys—they're not going to be close to 100 percent of what they are. So next year, anybody's walking. That's yeah, what I did. Say. I did say that for the U.S. Open. I did say that. <laughs> I, said, any, I feel like nobody might win this. Yeah. And Woodland had never won um, yeah. the U.S. Open. That was, yeah, I'm right. You know, did you see the story? While. So did, this, I like, I wasn't upset that Gary Woodland won. Did you see when he when he was at Phoenix, the waste management? Oh, he took that young girl out there and she he let her play the hole. She made par. She hit in the bunker and up and down Sandy for yeah. for par. I think that was really neat. That might be the most watched and, little yeah. video that uh, yeah. was going on on YouTube when when it comes to golf. Proves he's a good guy. You know, oh, he's, 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 he's a wonderful, wonderful man. So that was good for him. So glad mm-hmm. to see him win that, uh, for sure. Glad to see him win that, for sure. Um, that's all we got. You know what? what? You can go hit some balls right now if you wanted to. I could go hit some balls. You know, it has not – it's not – wouldn't be the first time that somebody uh, – Maybe put a range bat right at the event tent out there and just, you know, yeah. fire a few balls out in the range from well, the tent. I mean, I know that there's a river running on the 18th fairway, but I don't think the heavy stuff is coming down for quite some time. You didn't. Got to play that Come card. On. You did. Yeah. <laughs> God, you did. Speaking of good show. Unbelievable. Movies. That was on the other day. Well, um, you could say that every day. It's pretty much on. <laughs> every day. At some point, yeah. it's on something. Golf Channel. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Oh, what a great, what a classic. <laughs> When it's on, I turn. I just you can't. You can watch it. Watch if you have that in your pro shop on a TV in the yeah. background, just running, people uh, would never leave the pro shop. No, just running all over. <laughs> just people yeah. would stop and watch it. <laughs> they would stop and watch it. Oh, uh, free ball of soup with that hat. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. It's good on you, though. That's it. That's well, like that shirt you wore last week. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, we're conservative this oh, week. Oh, yeah, I went with the blue this week. My yeah. wife has a hideous one that I have. She wants me to wear one. I think that's good. It, 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 I really like it. But somebody once called me an Irish uh, gondolier. Somebody I'll wear it. I think, yeah, I'd like to see this. Yes. <laughs> I'd like to see like, this. Like a, a, Maybe it'll take some of the pressure gondolier. off me at home. Because they, you know, I can be like, hey, my shirt's not so bad. <laughs> Look at what John was wearing. Yeah, they will wear both shirts. Yeah, People can decide on which one is. I've got more two more good ones I'm saving up. i got two more good ones. I only have one that's really bad. Yeah. I don't even really think it's really bad. I really like it. I, the, I wore the one with the beer mugs over the weekend on my day off. Yeah. yeah. Afternoon off, I should say. Yeah. Yeah. Beer mugs. Did you have a good Father's Day? No. Oh, it was awesome. My wife said, what do you want to do? Nothing. I just want to sit around with my boys and my wife and do nothing. I like it. So I didn't do anything. I thought about, I gave it a, a good five-minute thought. Do I want to mow the lawn? Then it started raining. Nope. No more on the lawn. Off the hook? No. Nope. Then I just watched golf. And uh, we had a nice dinner. And the boys played. And I played with them. And then they went to bed. And I continued to watch golf. There you go. Not bad. It was great. It was Not great, bad. great day. Great yeah. day. Sent in some texts. It was fun. It was fun watching. Yeah. Text some people, that's right. Yeah. We came in, I had my golf lesson, we picked the range. My daughter fell asleep. We've been over that one. That was pretty good. Then we went, uh, she was pretty disappointed. Typically, we would go to the barn after that. She gets to go for a uh, writing lesson. Mm-hmm. Uh, we didn't get to do that this time around because uh, Grandma, Grandma and Papa came out for uh, oh, some Father's better. Day dinner. So yeah. we went out to dinner, and uh, early dinner, and uh, just kind of hung out. 
have a good day. Yeah, yeah less nice. is more. Sometimes yeah. less is more. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's fine. I love. I mean, she says this every year. What do you want to do? I want to watch the. I want to watch you. I want to watch. That's what I want to do. It's all right. That's all I want to do. It's all right. And, uh, that's good. All right. Well, don't forget. Share the video. We'll send you the Chrome Softs. Congratulations to Sharon Moret, last week's winner of the two round bundle. And uh, we will see you next week. We'll see you next week, yes. All right. Hopefully, we'll see some of you down at the Travelers if we get down there. Send down. some pictures. Let us know who you're watching, who you're going for. Uh, for Chris. This, is a, this is a big week uh, in for golf in the state of Connecticut. So uh, get down, down there and, uh, and watch those guys keep those big names coming back. See you next Thanks, week. everybody.